Welcome to the James A. Haslam II Business Building, home of the College of Business Administration at the University of Tennessee. I'm Ashley Smith, a sophomore majoring in marketing and international business. And I'm Ryan Sal. I'm a senior in economics, and we are standing here in the atrium of the Haslam Business Building, the focal point of activity for the building and the starting point of our tour. Before we start, let's review a little history of the building. The gorgeous Haslam structure is built on the footprint of the Glocker Business Administration Building, or Glocker. Dedicated in 1952, in honor of longtime faculty member and dean, Dr. Theodore Wesley Glocker, Sr., Glocker served as the home for UT's business students for more than half a century. In January 2009, the Haslam Business Building opened to students. Retaining the front facade of Glocker, Haslam was built as a state-of-the-art facility that complements the college's groundbreaking initiatives in entrepreneurship, global immersion, and providing an unsurpassed education. The Haslam Building cost nearly $50 million to build and was funded by both public and private money. The six floors cover almost 174,000 square feet, two and a half times the size of Glocker. With about $7 million invested in technology, the building provides an unparalleled learning environment. The building was named in honor of Jim Haslam and his leadership and generosity to the university and the college. Mr. Haslam is chairman of the board and president of Pilot Corporation. This building reflects the level of educational distinction that the college always has delivered and will elevate the college to an even higher level of excellence. As business majors, everything we need is in the Haslam Business Building. Please join me on this exciting tour. First stop, the Master's Investment Learning Center. The Master's Investment Learning Center is located off the atrium. It's just amazing. That's the best way to describe it. Just take a look at this video wall. Around here, we call it Ball Street. The Master's Investment Learning Center offers students across campus real-world investment experiences with its nine Bloomberg terminals and the electronic data wall. Many student groups use the facility, including the college's MBA students who manage the college's torch funds. These students invest donors' actual money in the market and give reports on the results. Now that's confidence. The center also promotes partnerships among faculty, students, and the community. We all know the importance of teamwork and collaboration. In the Haslam Building, the opportunities are endless, whether on the ground floor or the sixth floor. Located throughout the building are technology-enhanced team and presentation rooms, perfect for any group project. Cutting-edge technology helps students study and share information simultaneously, in person or remotely. Over the course of a college career, students will spend a lot of time in the classroom, but Haslam Business Building classrooms are not your typical classrooms. Our faculty and students are surrounded by the best of the best. High definition screens, whiteboards, on-screen annotation, in-room audio and video capture systems, document cameras, and internet access. All state of the art to enhance the learning experience. As Dean Jan Williams says, the heart and soul of our college is always has been and always will be the undergraduate education. But graduate level studies and executive education certainly don't take a back seat in the Haslam Building. The fifth and sixth floors are home to the college's graduate level programs and center for executive education. The center's non-degree programs, full-time MBA and executive level professional MBA, physician executive MBA, aerospace and defense MBA, Executive MBA and Global Supply Chain Executive MBA all enjoy state-of-the-art, impressive surroundings. As on the undergraduate floors, the fifth and sixth floors have technology-enhanced team and presentation rooms and classrooms strengthen the learning experience. And why shouldn't they? UT's graduate programs consistently rank among the best internationally. It wouldn't be possible for me to stand in this awesome facility if it weren't for the generosity and support of our College of Business Administration donors. On the fourth floor, outside the John Compton Dean Suite, is the College's Donor Wall of Fame. It spotlights the College's four donor recognition societies, Dean Circle, Archway Society, Glocker Society, and 1914 Society. We as students appreciate your support. Our faculty and staff couldn't do what they do for us without you. Also on the fourth floor is one of the crown jewels of the Haslam Building, the West Wing. 
Named for donors Mike and Tiffany West, it's open, yet majestic architecture and spectacular campus views make it one of the most beautiful meeting venues on campus. Used for special events such as award presentations and advisory council meetings, this space is essentially our boardroom. Also on the fourth floor and currently being designed is our Anderson Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. The center inspires entrepreneurship activities across campus. The conference rooms in the Haslam Building make meetings something to look forward to. Just look at the technologically advanced Brinkley and Pilot conference rooms located on the third floor. And let's not forget one of life's greatest pleasures, Einstein's Bagels, which is on the second floor. Grab a cup of coffee or bagel and catch up on your email or homework either inside or on the gorgeous courtyard. It's a great place to relax and enjoy some East Tennessee sunshine. There's also incredible learning going on outside of these walls. That's right. In the College of Business Administration, 20% of all undergraduate students and almost every graduate student are involved in an international experience. Undergraduate and graduate students alike travel to all four corners of the world for international immersions that are hard to forget. And let's not forget our own backyard. Students visit Wall Street and Warren Buffett in Omaha, Nebraska. That's right. Every fall, the Financial Management Association visits investment bankers, the New York Stock Exchange, and other places in New York. UT is one of the only universities in the country that gets invited to visit annually with Warren Buffett and has been doing so since 1991. Now that's impressive. And so is the UT College of Business Administration, thanks to its faculty, staff, students, and donors. We hope you enjoyed your tour of the Haslam Business Building. If you find yourself in Knoxville, the college would be honored to give you a more personal tour. Please call 865-974-2947 for more information or visit bus.utk.edu.